Ooh, I get to choose. Huh. Let's check out the crew quarters. These are the crew quarters, huh? Oh, Sigma. What are you doing here? Hey, come on, man. Don't be like that. We aren't enemies, are we? Huh. I wonder. What happened to you, Temioji? You've been acting kind of weird ever since we found that lady's body. Oh, you think so? Well, you sure it ain't just all in your head? Fine. Let's move on to something else, then. You and Quark. Is he your, uh, rank hit? Why do you want to know? Why? Well, I mean, why do you think? He keeps calling you Grandpa. Of course I'm gonna wonder what the deal is. We all got kidnapped and brought here, apparently for no reason. Now they're making us all play some sort of weird game. I'm just trying to find a little meaning in all of this nonsense. That's it. So tell me, Tamioji, are you really Quark's grandpa? Grandpa? Clover. Luna. Sigma, where'd you come from? Did you not want me here? No, it's okay, I guess. I just thought Tenmyoji was the only other person here. This is the crew quarters. I came here with Clover and Tenmyoji. We decided we'd split up to investigate. Huh? Makes sense. So, you find anything? Zero. What? Which one? No, I meant I found zero things. What about you? Any sus Anything suspicious? I didn't find anything either. Although... I guess you could say this whole facility is suspicious. Yeah, you've got a point there. So, why do you think Zero put all these puzzles and stuff all over the place? Hmm. Well, maybe solving all of these puzzles is part of the Nonary game. Really? I thought the Nonary game was a couple of rounds of the AB game. Why would he need the puzzles and stuff then? Clover knows. Well, what is the Nonary game, then? Why is Zero making us do all of this? Um, well, this is just, um, speculation, but maybe it's for entertainment, so rich, powerful people can watch. Entertainment? Yes. They're probably off in an opulent theater, watching us struggle while they drink brandy and eat caviar. Oh, you think so, huh? So some rich bastards killed her off for kicks. What kind of a death is that? So you did know her. Well, maybe her dying didn't have anything to do with the rest of the game. No. Kay was right. If her dying wasn't part of all this, the rabbit would have said something. But what we get? Nothing. Just tells us to keep playing and disappears. I can only think of one reason he'd do that. Murdering her was always part of Zero's plans. Now, if you can think of another way all this fits, well, I'd love to hear it. So you're saying that Zero Senior is the one who murdered the old lady? Now, it sure looks that way. That means there's a seven in one chance anybody could be the murderer. Pretty much. Wait, seven? Well, Alice and I can't be Zero. Okay... I'll let the eye part go, but... You're gonna have to give me a little conv a little to convince me Alice can't be Zero. What? Come on! Alice and I know each other. Well, um, how do you know each other? Uh, I guess you could say we're... co-workers. Uh-huh. And where do you co-work? An... organization? Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Explain. That's kind of vague. What kind of organization? Um, that's... Huh. <laughs> I can't tell you. Why not? 
What? What do you mean you can't tell us? I mean, I can't tell you. Just forget about it, okay? Why can't you tell us? Because it's confidential. I promised I wouldn't tell. Oh, come on. Don't give me that. Look around you, Clover. You really think this is the time for playing it close to the chest? Yeah. But what if the people you work for have something to do with what's going on here? Yeah. You're right. Maybe I should tell you. Finally. Sorry, but I just don't really trust you guys. I mean, what if one of you is Zero? It could be any of you. Sorry. Anyway, I think that's enough about me and Alice. I just don't really feel like I can trust you guys. Maybe if that changes, then I can tell you. Hmm. Hints. So, I guess I'll go now. Go? Where are you going? I don't know. I haven't really figured it out yet. Then I'll be going too. Fine. There she goes. So, Tamioji. Save it. I don't trust you any more than she does. In other words, you aren't going to tell me anything, are you? Sorry. Huh. I left Tamioji and headed back to the hallway. There were so many questions I wanted answers to. But it was looking like I'd have to suffer in ignorance for a while. Besides, there were plenty of more immediate problems that needed my attention. I sighed and filed my questions away to be dealt with later. I needed to focus. Okay, so let's go to the infirmary next. How's it going? You guys find anything? Hello, Mr. Sigma. Nothing yet. Oh. Well, Alice, Clover, and I did go over this room quite thoroughly. I doubt you'll find any hidden hallways here. Why are you back here, then? Uh, well, I was concerned about the lady you found. Who would do such a horrible thing? Given what we know so far, you're the most likely candidate. Fine, please. Why would I kill this woman? Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying the evidence points to you right now. If we find more evidence in the future, that could change. We were so busy earlier that I never got to ask, but... Do any of you know who she is? Beats me. I've never seen her before. I don't know her either. Neither do I. Well... I suppose I might have known her before I lost my memories, but there's no way to know, is there? Nope. You still can't remember anything? No. Not even a little, unfortunately. You better be telling the truth about this amnesia stuff. Are you suspicious of me too, Sigma? Suspicious? Have you looked in the mirror lately? You might as well have suspicious tattooed across your forehead. If someone ran into you on the street at night, they'd probably pass out from fright. Or maybe even during the day. Oh, I'm so sorry. I apologize for my frightening appearance. Well, it's not really something you need to apologize for. I mean, it's not your fault, right? No, I suppose not. Well, I assume not, but... But what? I'm not sure why, but... None of this feels particularly strange. The mask and the suit, I mean. In a way, it almost feels... natural. I don't feel as though I was forced into it. Are you saying this is how you always look? No, I don't think that's it. This might be a pretty obvious question, but... is there any way for you to take it off? That's a good question. No. I've tried several times, to no avail. I honestly don't even know where to start. Ah, but there is something I'd like to ask of you. 
There are parts of the suit I can't see. Could you have a look and tell me if perhaps there is a switch or something similar? Okay, yeah, sure. With no further warning, he removed his robe and turned his back to us. It took no time at all to find something on interest. There's a hole there on the back of your head. A hole? Yeah, looks like you insert something. It says open, so maybe you put some kind of key in there. You could open up the suit and take the mask off. I see. That's excellent news. We just need to find whatever it is that goes in there then. Yeah. Thank you. I feel somewhat relieved. I was beginning to fear I might have to spend the rest of my life like this. Wait! A minute ago you said that it felt natural. Well, it does. But that doesn't mean I want to stay in it forever. That's true too. Imagine having glasses, for instance. Wearing them doesn't feel strange, but you'd hardly want to wear them all the time, forever, would you? That's what wearing the suit is like. Well, I think that's enough about me. Should we move to the next room now? No. There still might be something here. I'm staying. Me too! I see. Well then, I will move ahead and see how our companions are doing. What do you intend to do? Hmm. I think I'll be moving along too. Where do you plan to go? Pro well, there's only one place for me to go. I was thinking maybe I'd head to the lounge. Very well. I shall head for the crew quarters then. Until we meet again. Excuse me. Kay's robe flowed silently around him as he turned to leave. I made my way out of the infirmary behind him. Sigma. Perfect timing. You were here earlier, right? Yeah, I was. Phi Luna, Phi Luna and I were the first into this room. Did you find anything suspicious? Like a uh, secret pathway or something? No, sadly. You really think that's the kind of detail I would have neglected to mention? Anything else then? Anything out of the ordinary? Out of the ordinary? Hmm. Well, I mean, everything about this room is out of the ordinary. How about this? Isn't that obvious? It's an, ast it's an astronomy magazine. Apparently, it's got an article about a lunar eclipse. It says it's gonna happen on December 31st, 2028. This New Year's Eve, then? Yeah. Six days from now. Wait, what did you say? What do you mean, six days? Uh, well, today is Christmas, right? So... Wait a minute. When were you grabbed? Didn't you hear me? On Christmas. About two or three in the morning. Wait, did they pick you up on a different day? Yeah. I was abducted in the middle of the night on December 22nd. What about you? I... Uh, I think it was the 20th. Then we were all taken on different days. Well, shit. Does that mean we were just sleeping until the notary game started? Maybe they kept us on a soparil IV drip or something? In theory, you could have everyone wake up at the same time if you got the dosage right. Then today might not even be the 25th. I think that's likely. Yeah. Some of us were probably abducted after you. Oh. Well, I guess that explains why I feel kind of dizzy. You too? I felt disoriented since I woke up. My body doesn't feel right. Maybe it's because we were asleep for so long. Your muscles start to atrophy if you don't use them. Uh... Then... What day is today? Beats me. I have no idea. Fuck. Well, what about you guys? 
Was there anything interesting in the crew quarters or the infirmary? Nah, nothing in the quarters. Oh well, there was a book about a cat. A cat? Yeah. Something about a cat in a box and whether it's dead or alive. Yeah, Schrodinger's cat. I knew it was gonna come up. Didn't make any sense to me though. Hmm. Well, it doesn't really sound like something that's going to help us get out of here. Yeah, I didn't think so either. How about the infirmary? Find anything interesting? Well, actually there was one thing. What? I wasn't trying to hide it. The right moment to mention it just never came up. You don't need to apologize. Just tell us what you found. Well, see for yourself. It's a newspaper article, it looks like. Yeah, it was in the safe in the infirmary. Let me see that. Radical 6 infection spreads. Cure continues to elude authorities. What the hell? That's... what's Radical 6? Just read the article. I swallowed and began to read. The Radical 6 virus continues to spread across the globe like wildfire. The WHO has confirmed that the death toll is estimated to have passed 100,000 victims. Immediate quarantine of any infected patients is strongly advised. Do, do you think we're in a quarantine facility? You mean you think we got infected with this Radical 6 thing? Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. Well, we don't know anything for sure, but look at us. We seem pretty healthy. Admittedly, I don't know what the symptoms of Radical 6 are, but if it's killing people worldwide, they must be horrific. Now, just look at this soft, lustrous skin. This perfect, shapely face. Does this beauty look like something infected with an awful disease? You want to touch it, don't you, boy? I can see it in your eyes. Well, Go on. Try. No, it's a trap. Well, I am feeling a little weird. That could just be from sleeping for a couple of days. Or maybe it's a side effect of that drug. Uh, besides, if this is where they ship people to quarantine them, don't you think there aren't enough, uh, people? This thing is killing people all over the world, right? So why would there only be nine of us here? Yeah. I guess you do have a point. Think about it. Zero is forcing us to play this nonary game. Why would the government quarantine people and then make them play a game? Also a good point. Yes, it is. So you're saying there's no connection between our abductions and this virus? Probably not. Then why would there be a letter about it? Hmm. Well, it's still something we should remember, I suppose. I mean, even if we're safe in here, our friends and families are still out there. That's true. I hope they're all right. Wait a minute. When did this virus actually show up? I've never heard of it before. Neither have I. Me either. So what day is it? If this Radical Six killed hundreds of thousands of people while we were asleep, just how long have we been here for? I don't think you'll be able to just puzzle that out. If we want the truth, we need to find more information. Yeah, well, doesn't look like we're gonna have time for that. Yep, almost time. Shit, we're late. Uh, yeah. All right then. We should hurry. Remain until chromatic doors close. You're late. 
Yeah, shut up, you know. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> so sorry. That's not good enough. You realize we could die here, right? Hey, whoa, calm down there, girl. I made it in time. Barely. We've only got five minutes left. You're a yellow pair. Who do you think your partner is? Gee, I wonder. Yeah. Ugh, you son of a... Come now, Fi. Please, calm down. Fighting now helps no one. Except He's right, you know. The doors have already opened. We need to hurry up and figure out our teams. <sighs> what did I do to deserve this asshole? So, uh, how should we pair up? We're almost out of time. I'll just explain it as fast as I can. Just like before, there are only three possible combinations. The options five landed laid out for us were the following. Option A, Alice and I, Cyan, would pair up with Luna, Yellow, and go through the green door. Temioji and Quark, Magento, would pair up with Clover, Cyan, and open the blue door. Phi and Dio, Yellow, would pair up with K, Magenta, and open the red door. Option B. Alice and I, Cyan, would pair up with K, Magenta, and go through the purple door, the blue door. Temioji and Quark, Magenta, would pair up with Luna, Yellow, and open the red door. Phi and Dio, Yellow, would pair up with Clover, Cyan, and open the green door. Option C. Alice and I, Cyan, and Clover, Cyan, would pair up and go through the red door. Tamioji and Quark, Magenta, would pair up with K, Magenta, and open the green door. Phi and Dio, Yellow, would pair up with Luna, Yellow, and open the blue door. Three minutes remain until chromatic doors close. <laughs> Alright. So what are we doing? I'm not pairing up with K. Oh? Why not? We'd end up playing against each other in the next AP game. Last time, you betrayed Clover. How am I supposed to know you won't do the same to me? <laughs> you can't be trusted. How unfortunate. To be honest, however, I would rather not go with you either. Ooh. Yeah? Why's that? Well, you only have one BP left. I very much doubt you'll choose to ally in the next round. Even if you promised me you would choose to ally, I'd be in an undesirable situation. You see, I wouldn't be able to choose to betray. If I did, and you were true to your word and allied, I would kill you. So there you are. That is why I do not wish to be paired with Ten Miyoji. Of course, for the same reason, I would rather not be paired with Alice. That's not a problem. Sigma and I will be taking Clover. I trust her more than any of the rest of you. Yep. I want to go with Alice, too. Hey, wait a minute! Don't I get a say in this? I would like to go with Sigma or Phi. They chose Ally last time. Ooh, I like the sound of that. I'm Phi's partner. You should pair up with us. Sound good? No. I am also opposed to that choice. If Alice and Clover pair up, and Luna and Dio pair up, the rest of us don't have a choice. We'll be stuck with Phi's option C. I believe I mentioned before that I do not wish to be paired with Ten Miyoji. And I don't want to go with K either. <laughs> then what the hell are we supposed to do? One minute remains. Oh, for fuck's Until sakes, guys. Doors <laughs> well, what's wrong, Quark? It's all over. This is it. We're all going to die. Are you all right? No. No. That's not it. Don't you get it? We are going to die. We have to die. We have to die here. All of us. What, what the hell? Uh, kid, the fuck are you going on about? Oh, snap out of it, kid. Oh, come on, Quark, talk to me. No, I'm fine. You're the crazy ones. Getting so serious about this stupid game we should just stop end this end all of it end everything um okay i don't want to partner with quark <sighs> we need to get him to the infirmary no we don't have time 30 seconds remain until chromatic doors close 
We don't have a choice. Quark's with me. I'll carry him through. But we still haven't figured out who's going where. I can't afford to be picky anymore. Someone just choose. I don't care who. Sigma, you have to choose. <laughs> what? Why me? Please, just do it. We don't have any time left. Nine, eight, seven. Fuck. I swallowed. I... Alice and I will... Okay, uh... we'll go with K. No, we'll go with... Ah! I hate this. I hate this. Okay, sorry guys. Alice and I will take Clover and go through the red door. No, I cannot allow you to do that. God damn it, Kay! We don't have time for this! Choose a different door, please. He stood in front of the red door, solid and immovable in his metal armor. I didn't think I could force my way past him. And I knew I didn't have the time to try. Shit. There were two doors left for me to choose from. But which one? Okay, fine. Okay, well, we already went with Luna, so we'll go with Kay. Alice? Kay. The blue door. Right. We should hurry. We took off towards the blue the door at a run. I glanced back over my shoulder to see the others heading for their respective doors. Phi, Dio, and Clover were headed towards the green door. While Tamioji carried Quark towards the red door, followed by Luna. Two, one, zero. Chromatic doors closing. Wait, three doors? It appears they are all locked. Is this the dead end? What's that thing over there? It looks like the thing next to the number nine door. Oh, great. Does that lever move? Only one way to find out. Oh, one of the doors opened, cool. And it's the rec room. Well, that was easy enough. It only opened the door on the right, though. Then we are likely meant to go there. Unless... It only opens by specific numbers, like in the first game. How do we get the other doors to open? I have no idea. There do not seem to be any other mechanisms which might cause them to unlock. I don't think that's really something we should be worrying about right now. We have a door that's open, we should go through it. You are correct. There is little to be achieved by remaining here. Forward it is then. Or right, I guess. Oh, this seems familiar. What is this place? The rec room, apparently. Uh, I never actually- I think I might have been to the rec room, like, maybe once. This is less exciting than the rec room is in real life. Oh, you didn't see it. There was a plate on the door. It said rec room, as I recall. Short for recreation, one might assume. How ironic. I doubt recreation is foremost on any of our minds right now. Nope. Thanks for stating the obvious, Captain. Okay, the pool and the darts I get, but... What's with all the suits of armor? Seems kind of weird. If you think the armor's weird, check that thing out. Is that... Yes. A ride? Not only is it a ride, but it is Zero the Third. Yeah. I see them in front of grocery stores all the time. You put a coin in and it kind of rocks around. 
You must have gone on one at least once when you were a kid. Uh, he doesn't remember that, though, Alice. I have no memory of doing so, but it is possible. Does this thing mean there were kids here at some point? No, I don't think so. I guess it's part of someone's collection. That seems like an exceedingly odd thing to collect. So, this place is a lounge, some sleeping quarters, and now this rec room. It's like we're on the same kind of luxury cruiser. Now that you mention it, it does give the impression that people are supposed to stay here for an extended period of time. They have a small but well-stocked infirmary. Anyone here would be able to treat at least minor injuries and illnesses. So you think this room is to help people keep from going out of their minds with boredom? Yes. Relaxation is important in an isolated environment. I mean, yeah, that tracks. Everything anybody needs to live without leaving. I guess they're planning to keep us here for a while, huh? Well, that's not happening. I agree. Let's just find those moon card things and get out of here. Agreed. Ah, there's a door over there. Yeah, but it is probably locked, because there is that mechanism right there. No good. One open. Looks like it's locked up tight. In other words, the moon cards must be in this room somewhere. Yep. Right then, let's find them. And they're probably hidden in that safe in the corner. It's puzzle time. Okay, so let's exam let's start examining shit. A pool table, huh? It looks as though a piece of the felt has been torn off. Some of the felt has been torn off. Okay, I guess that's it for that. Is this guy holding a shield with glass on it? Yeah, he is. Hey, doesn't it look like there's something under the glass? Yeah, that's an Allen key. Yeah. Hard to tell what it is from here, though. No, it's pretty fucking clear. It's an Allen key. And we can't get it as long as it's covered in glass. This guy's holding something. A lance. Okay. Hmm. Guess I'll give him a weapon I've gotten in exchange for whatever he's holding. Ah, oh, it's a pool cube. Ah, oh, a pew, a pool cube. Why was a suit of armor holding a pool cube? Perhaps it is not an ordinary cube. The butt end is a little weird. It's got a hexagonal hole in the tip. Yeah, it does. So now that makes more sense. Were you planning to give the suit of armor the pool cue? I don't think that would be appropriate. That cue stick is meant for more important things. Perhaps you should hold on to it for now. I guess I'll just take the weapon it's holding then. This is for catching fish, right? Originally, yes. I believe this is a slightly modified version now. It is known as a trident. I'll take that back. that. Hmm. Armor, huh? Okay. Thought I could take the shield too, but I guess not. There's a triangle in the middle of the circular button. I'm gonna push it. Ah! Didn't give it anything to hold, so it just moved its arm.
Okay. No, no, go back. Go back. Uh. It's a Labrys. Perhaps I should just call it an axe. In any event, it is a European weapon with a bilaterally symmetrical blade. Okay. Let's try it now. And push. Yeah, got it. Oh! Is the shield? The glass is broken. We can get at the thing on his shield now, right? Yep, let's grab it. Yep. Oh, Allen wrench, sorry. It's still an Allen key. An Allen wrench? You know what that is, right? It's like a screwdriver, kind of. It just uses special hexagonal holes. This does. I'm gonna take that back though. A suit of armor. I don't think I need to mess with it anymore. Oh, okay. Fine. That's fine. Oh, there's the there's the scrap of cloth. Looks like these are all the same thing. Do you think we're supposed to pick the right bottles or something? I hope not. They all look exactly alike to me. Then just take whichever one you want. Sure. And billiard balls. One, fourteen, nine, six. Okay, what order is this supposed to be in order? What's this supposed to be a picture of? There are those balls from that kid's show, right? If you collect seven of them, then you get a wish. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z joke. Well, Dragon Ball joke in general. But there's more than twice that here. Oh, then it's a set of billiard balls. Then? Look, I think it's probably a hit. Just grab it and bring it with you. You have obtained a poster with pool balls on it. You can review it in the archive. Cool. Let's see what this one is. Does this explain how darks work? Apparently. I wonder if these are instructions for the dart scoreboard here. Are these the rules normally used? Darts normally used? I have no idea. Isn't darts just a way to flirt with girls? I guess some people use it that way, but darts is a legitimate and dignified indoor sport for gentlemen. What? Where you compete to see how many girls you can get? What the hell happened to you? <laughs> it's how many points you can get. There are, like, leagues and shit about this shit. You have found a poster with instructions for darts. You can review it in the archive. Okay, let's see if we can go back to the felt. Ah! Looking at your piece of felt, I see. Looking at your piece of felt, I see. Yes, I was thinking about trying to fit it in this bare spot on the pool table. And there. Cool. Are those pool balls? They look rather odd, though. Aren't pool balls supposed to be painted a variety of colors? Yeah, so I have to put them in the combination of the numbers. These appear to be all white, although they are numbered. Hmm. Well, might as well try using them with the table. Alright, what am I supposed to do with these white balls? Maybe you need to drop them into the pockets on the pool table? 
Place each of the six balls in the correct pocket in the following order, A, B, C, D, E, F. Specific balls must go in a specific pocket. For instance, ball A would need to go into the pocket A, and so forth. Drag each ball to the desired pocket, and then release the ball to drop it. Click the yellow triangle. Clicking the yellow triangle will allow you to switch between ball groups if displayed either 1 to 8 or 9 to 5. 9 to 15, rather. All right, let's give it a try. Let's take a look at that archive first. Billiards poster. Okay, so the colors literally designate what number they're supposed to be. And uh, the num the colors are the letters and the numbers are the numbers. Okay, I get it. Oops, don't need that one just yet, I guess. Okay, so. Oh shit. Did I do that wrong? So, four goes in A, one goes in B, oh, I got that one right. What's the other number they needed to go in? Nine, okay. labeled stupid so that was D that was E and that was F and yeah I know I failed because the game doesn't tell you which balls go where eventually uh wait what's this oh it's a light switch cool what's that do oh Oh, okay. So that just tells me that it's E. A pool table. There is an E on that scrap of cloth. Yeah, there is. So I guess E is this one. In the dark, I can see the letter E on the piece of the felt I put down. Okay, so let me see if I can use the luminol. Ah, balls. Hmm. Now to spray this table with luminol. There we go. A, A C F D B E. Cool. Let's try this again. Hmm. There are six letters on the table. Yeah, looks like they were written in something that reacted with the luminol. They appear to be the letters A through F. No pattern that I can see. Okay, so how do we play the pool table? I've sprayed it with luminol. In the dark, I can see the letters A through F. Oh, maybe I have to turn off the lights? It's so dark in here. I'm not even sure what I'm touching. Oh! Hey, what was that noise? I I definitely haven't broken anything. You sure? Ay! What are you doing, Alice? Please do not accidentally break something valuable. You're the one to talk. I guess it's dangerous to just fumble around in the dark. Okay, so I guess I turn it off. Well, first things first. I'm grabbing a screen grab. And I'm writing it down. Place each of the six balls in the correct order. Yeah, I couldn't do it with the lights off, which is stupid. Specific balls must go in specific pockets. Blah, blah, blah. We've read this already. Moving on. Okay, so. Going back to the poster. So we know... Uh... 
four and twelve is one is one, I guess. Got it. Uh, one was B. Wait. Yeah, one was B, because I remember that glowing, right? And then C is orange. So that'd be five. That's apparently wrong. Uh, 12? Oh, now I can't get it in. Okay, fine. Try that again. Oh, it still didn't go. Eventually. Oh wait, maybe it's solids versus stripes. Shit. Okay. I think I get it. I think I get it. Um so the solids are okay. The one side and the other, okay. Okay, I think I get it, I think I get it. So, I'll try 13 instead of five, because that's probably what was wrong. And then F, F will be nine. Because that had a stripe on it. Okay, okay, let's see if I got this right now. And I've written down the numbers so that I am not a complete fucking scrub. Okay, so four is A. One is B. Oh shit, I already fucked it up. Four is A. One is B. I said I was gonna try 13 for C. Oh yeah, because you can even see in the pictures. Those two are supposed to be stripes and the others are supposed to be solid. I get it. I'm, I'm just dumb. It's fine. It's fine. Is two. E is six. And then F, I'm gonna try nine. Gah! Finally! Oh! Ha! That was easy. No, it wasn't. Shut up! Looks like something came out of the ball retrieval slot. You see? Down there. What is this? Some sort of container, huh? It's got darts on it, I think. There's something inside. Why don't you take it out? Sounds good. I'll just hang on to this then. Yep, they're dart tips. Okay. So I think I'm done with the dart table. There is a round indentation inside this frame. Perhaps something round goes in it. Okay. Like the ball cube? Like the pool cube? Oh, that's hexagonal. Never mind. This one's locked. Why won't it open? There's something in there, but I can't take we we can't take it out if it won't open. Okay, so those are the dart heads that I'd like. And it says score 91. So I guess 91 is supposed to be what I'm supposed to aim for. There's a round indentation. Okay, so same thing. Okay, 
Okay, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with this. Oh, how nostalgic. This is a jukebox. It plays an old form of music media known as a record. With the push of a few buttons, you can listen to your favorite songs. Looks like it's not plugged in. There's an outlet over there, but I don't think the cable's long enough. It won't reach? Doesn't look like it. I guess we can't use the jukebox right now. But we will be able to use it later. Hey Alice, what's the deal with that screen over the pool table? I think it's a scoreboard. Oh my god! This deer must have phased halfway through the wall and then gotten stuck! How horrific! Oh, you poor sweet summer child. That's just a mounted head. It's a decoration. Ah, I did think it had extraordinarily long legs. Five minutes later. So what the hell am I supposed to do? Oh. Oh, this one has an extension cord. Looks like this extension cord is plugged into the ride, but I'm not sure why. What do you mean? It's probably there so the ride can get power. That's not what I mean. There's a way too much slack. Doesn't look like the ride's power cable's long enough without the extension cord. Oh, doesn't it look like the ride's power cable is long enough without the extension cord? Then let's take the extension cable with us. Don't forget to plug the ride back into the outlet. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Ooh. Hmm. If I connect this extension cord to the power cable, then plug it into the outlet. Yep, that works. The extension cord is connected and plugged in. Unfortunately, it seems that isn't quite enough. I believe we'll need to insert a coin before the machine will operate. Oh, good. Wonder if those are actually coins. Oh, I can actually look up and down? Not that it'll let me stay that way. It's one of those rides like you see in front of the grocery store. Looks like Zero Junior. I get the feeling someone's laughing at us. I don't like it. Looks like this box is connected to the ride somehow, but why? I can't say for sure, but don't rides often require payment in order to run? Yeah, but I don't see anywhere to stick a coin in. Have you looked closely at the lion? There seems to be a slot in its mouth. A blue box with a lion's face on it. One of the lower corners has a circular keyhole. Five minutes later. Okay, what if I have to combine some shit? Hang on. Uh, Allen wrench. It's kind of like a specialized screwdriver. Okay, so then... Can I combine it with anything? Like this? Nope. Like this? Nope. How about the cube? Pool cube. Let's, let's combine it with the pool cube. Oh. Key with a circular tip. Okay, now we got it. Ah, no. Get back over there. There's a round indentation inside of this frame. I wonder if I'm supposed to put something round in it. I do have something round. This is the part of the cue stick that we removed with the Allen wrench. Yeah. I can get the wrench back out, though. Perhaps the wrench is part of it now. If it is, that makes things easier for us. How so? Well, look at it. Doesn't it look like a tubular key? I think we can use this to open the lock. Okay, hang on. So not that lock. But the lock on here. 
All right, this tool I've got here should fit the keyhole here. It took a bit of work to make, but yes. The tip does look remarkably similar. Okay, here we go. It opened. Then let us take a look inside. Oh, coins. You know, I was all excited about finally being rich after we found the these in here, but... They don't look right. I agree. The markings are... strange. I have a feeling they only work on this ride. That seems likely. In any event, we may as well take a few of them. Yup. Works for me. Oh, were you planning to put a coin in there? Yeah, I figured if I put a coin in there, then maybe it'll start up, right? Hmm. Okay, I'll just drop a coin in and... Ah! Kay! <laughs> Why the hell are you riding it? <laughs> oh, I can't actually be mad. This is kind of sweet. Look at me go! <laughs> I... I can't watch this. There is no god. Oh, come on, shut up! Hey, Sigma! Alice! He, he's waving at us now. Alice, wh what's going on? I'm scared. I'm not watching. This isn't happening. Everything is fine. This is fine. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently. <laughs> huh? What was that? I it seems to have taken a picture. Hooray! <laughs> oh, that was delightful. Now, where is that photograph? Ah, there we are. Excellent. I give this to you as a memento of our time together, Sigma. Uh, I don't really... Just holding it makes me feel... wrong. Now, now, that's hardly necessary. Okay. I hope this is relevant somehow. But in the meantime, let's see if these will work in here. All right. Now it's got some juice. How about you try putting in one of those coins we found? I think that should start it up. I was thinking the same thing. Oh, wrong direction. These are the coins that we, uh, borrowed from the ride. I don't know if they have any actual value, but they may be useful elsewhere in the room. Okay. Now to put a coin in here. Ah, oh, and the keyboard's light up. The button's lit up. I guess it's on now. What happens if I put the... Well, well. That's a handsome fellow there, isn't it? I would have very much liked to give these out to the others, but it seems I cannot print anymore. Terribly disappointing. Oh? Wait. There's something written on the back. Z9. D1. Okay, writing this down. Writing this down. I wonder what that means. Okay, so let's try it. Uh, first things first. No, I can't put the thing in. I can't put the, uh, the picture in here. That's fine. So, Z9. There's a gold record sitting in the jukebox. Okay. Gold disc. And D1. There's a gold record sitting in the jukebox. Let's make it so that I'm not holding anything. There we go. 
Oh, maybe I'm supposed to put the record in here. Nope, I guess not. Oh, I get it, I get it. I understand now. This is, this is a thing for a record player. There we go, looks good. There we go, looks good. Huh? Did you just hear something? Look! The light on the frame in the middle is green now. Oh yeah, so it is. I'm guessing that means it might have unlocked. Which means we can open it. What's this thing? It's a box with darts in it, isn't it? Yes it is. A case for darts. There are three things in that in it that look like darts. They don't have tips though. Just the shaft and the fletching. And the fletching. It looks like there's some kind of picture inside of the case. And have you noticed these markings on the lid? We can worry about that later. Right now, I think we should focus on making complete darts. Sure. There we go. So now that we've made the complete darts, now we can look at this. Now that we've taken the dart shafts out of here, we don't have we don't really need this case anymore now, do we? Not for holding darts, no, but it's got some markings on it. You're right. You're look here. It's got three images of darts in the targets. One's red, one's blue, and one's green. It says score 91. I wonder what it means. Good question. Uh, I guess it's time to play some darts. Oh, I see. I think I get it. Uh... Get a score of 91 with three darts. Keep in mind, however, the score for each area must have a specific relationship to the other scores. Toss a dart into each area to reach the correct point value. To throw a dart at a particular area, drag and then release the dart on the area where you'd like it to land. Okay, so now we gotta be doing math. And we need a score of 91 in order to to win. So let's try red first. Thirteen. Seventeen, that's forty-seven. That's 60, but I failed. Okay. Let's try three. No, because that's only 39. And that's 50. So what am I missing here? So then, darts poster. 20 times one, the inner is 20 times two, and then the outer, bleh. Okay. Yeah, that's how darts is normally supposed to work, but that's not what it's adding to right now. Okay, there we go, so that's 60. Eighty. Ninety-one. What? How is that a fail? I got ninety-one. I think I'm on the right track here, but I need to have one of each color. That's what's tripping me up. 
7, 14, 21. No, that's 81. 9, 18, 27? No, because that'll give me 87. 34, 40, that's 74. So what's 91 subtract 74? That's 17. I got it. And yet it's still a fail? Does it matter the order that I do them in? So, oh, I see, I see. So, small, medium, large, that's what I did. Okay. So, what combination that can I get a red, small, a green, large, and a blue, medium, and still score 91? Or wait, maybe maybe I'm thinking the reverse. So that's small. Uh, or actually, hang on. Let me try a bigger number. That's small. That's medium. No, that only gets me 81 though. One minute later. Okay, I get it. I get it now. The, the arrows are actually important here because those are greater than or less than symbols. So the red score has to be higher than the blue score and the blue score has to be higher than the green score. It's the... Uh... So I was kind of right, but at the same time, I'm not beholden to the small, medium, and large. Okay, so that gives me 34. So the next one can't be bigger than that. Yeah, because that's that tracks, because 34 is still bigger than 33. 8, 16, 24. And 67 plus 24 is 91. Okay, we're good. Good work. Looks like you got it. Well done, Sigma. Look, the screen has changed. Yes, it has. Is this a password? Oh, well done. This must be for the safe. You did it. You found a safe password. To view it, navigate to the Pass tab in the archive. Now, here's a question. I can't remember. Uh, is the blue password to escape or is the green password to escape? Wait. Okay, so it was the plate. Excellent. Piece of cake. You found a gold file. It says view it, visit the secret tab in the archive. I'll be doing that at some point, but again, I don't want to, like, in case it uh, reads too far into the story. So then, how do I get out? Is there another way? Eventually. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I totally looked this one up because I couldn't figure out the escape one. But apparently, I was on the right track originally. I had to, uh... So, disregarding the, the greater than signs, I was actually on the right track, it's just I wasn't getting the combination. So, looking, having looked up the answer, uh, I have to hit the red six. I have to hit the 11, which is the blue 11. And then I have to hit the green 20. There we go. So, uh, so yeah, while I didn't get this one authentically, I still got it. And anyways, this isn't the first time I've had to look up the answer for this game, so the fact that I actually took so long to actually have to look up the answer speaks volumes. <laughs> uh, you tried a different solution this time, I see. Yeah, I did. Looks like it worked out. See? The screen changed. This one's different. Moon, star, and sun. A new password? You found a safe password. To view it, navigate to the Pass tab in the archive. Sweet. Star, sun. 
Hooray! More shit. All right. It opened. Now, shall we collect our spoils? First, a map. It says floor B. The one I found in the lounge said floor A. Then that must mean floor A is on the top floor. We rode the elevator down to get to this floor after all. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, moving on. Next, we've got... Uh, the moon cards. Some key cards. They have an image of the moon on them. That, that must mean these are what the announcer was talking about. The moon keys. We've got two of them, just like with the sun keys. Alright, Kay, you take one. Why? You're a solo. Alice and I will take the other one. Ah, oh, yes, of course. Thank you. And the last prize. Let's see here. A key? This, mu this must be for the exit. Now we can leave. Hooray! Ooh. What are we waiting for then? Yeah, what are we waiting for? Also, Kay, if you fucking choose Betray, I'm gonna fucking gut you. This is the lock for the exit. It says lock right now. Time to kiss this weird-ass room goodbye. I actually had a rather nice time. Whatever. I'd rather forget any of this ever happened. Three, two, one. We did it! Hooray! 